Hey everyone, welcome back to JavaScript Advanced Tutorial. In this tutorial, we will learn JavaScript polymorphism. We will understand what is polymorphism is and how to use it. So let's get started. Polymorphism is a core concept of an object-oriented paradigm that provides a way to perform a single action in different forms. This provides an ability to call same method on different JavaScript objects. Using polymorphism in object-oriented programming, you can create variable methods and object that has more than one form. The use of polymorphism in JavaScript is to override property or method. If you wanted to override any property or method in the parent class, then you can do that using polymorphism. For example, so here if I just create two classes here, and extend the first class so i will just create a parent class here so i will just say class employee and here i will specify my constructor so i will say constructor and specify my parameter so i will say name here and initialize my parameter with this dot name is equal to name and just after that i will create a method here So I will just say employee name and then say here console.log and just print the property on the console. So I will just say employee name this dot name right. Now just after that using the child class I will just extend this parent class right. In the previous lecture you learn what is inheritance is all about using the inheritance we will override the parent class method just like this if i just extend the parent class here so i will just say class member extends employee and here i will just say constructor and specify two arguments so i will just say name and salary and i will just call the parent class constructor so i will just say super and in the parenthesis, I will specify my constructor parameter. So I will just say name here, right? And just after that, I will initialize both properties. So I will just say this dot name is equal to name and this dot salary is equal to salary. Now here we wanted to overwrite the parent class employee name method here. So I will just specify the same name for the child class method also. So I will just say employee name parenthesis and here in the curly braces I will say console.log I will print message so I will say employee name this dot name and salary this dot salary right and just after that we will access this class object and methods using the class instance so i will say constant mb is equal to new member right and in the parenthesis i will just specify two arguments because we had specified two arguments to the constructor right so when you create an instance you need to specify parameter for the class so i will just say neil patel so this is the name of the employee and salary is thirty-five thousand, right and just after that i will just using the instance i will call my employee name method so i will just say mb dot employee name so when you execute this statement you will get your message on the console employee name and his salary right you can see here we had specified two methods with same name so the second child class method will override the parent class method you can also notice we are accessing both class methods using a child class instance now suppose if you wanted to execute the parent class method then just comment this child method or just change the name of this method so i will just comment this method 
and execute this again. So you will get your employee name on the console. So this time JavaScript will execute the parent class method, right? And if you just change the name of the child class method, then also you will get the same output, right? You can overwrite class properties also, just like this. So here I will just add one more property. So in the employee class, I will just add one more property. So I will say this dot age is equal to 24 and overwrite this property in the child class. And I will just add this property in the child class with a different value. So I will just say this dot h is equal to 30. So we will overwrite the parent property in the child class, right? And at the last, I will just specify this property in the message. So when you execute this, child class property will overwrite the parent class property. The important thing to notice is if you wanted to override any property, you need to specify same name for both properties and you need to inherit the parent class. Now I just wanted to explain one more topic which is string representation. Every object ultimately inherit from object. So the methods available for object are by default available for all objects. One of those methods is toString. ToString method provides the default string representation of the object. Having a ToString method that says something descriptive about an object. For example, I will just create a date object here. So I will just say constant dt is equal to new date. Right? And just print this date on the console. So I will just say console.log dt. And just after that, I will print this date on the console with two string method so i will just say console.log dt dot two string and specify parentheses because this is a method so when you execute this you will get your date on the console but what is the difference between the both outcome i will show you now let's print the same statement with the type of keyword so i will just say console.log type of dt dot to string and say console dot log type of dt so when you execute this you will get string and object on the console so using this statement you will understand using the to string we are converting our object into string the basic use of to string method is to convert object into string type right that's it i hope you understand this lecture i have asked a question in the comment answering that question will help you to understand this topic more easily that is all for now we will see you in the next tutorial